Hey everybody, welcome to Adam Makes Beer. And today I'm gonna show you how we keg beer off of a bright tank. Once again, let me say, this is just one of a lot of different ways to do it. There are different implements that you can buy. Um, there's some from GW Kent that have like a little off gas and it's a, it's kind of like a, it seals when it hits foam coming out of the keg. I don't utilize those uh, to me. Uh, they're expensive. To me, they can be a pain. I get other people love them. I just don't use them. The super majority of our beer here is poured in house. So if our volume is a little bit high, I mean, it's pretty much just pouring here anyways. So I'm gonna show you what I do. There are multiple ways to do it, but this is what we're doing. The whole point here is that we have carbonated beer in the bright tank right here that is ready to be packaged. I'm going to be putting together a rig uh, that works well for us. All of my parts right now have been soaking in an iodine solution for close to a half hour. And then you're also gonna see me hitting various ports and things like that with ISO, and I'm gonna jump you through this build real quick, all right? One keg line. Here's two keg lines. And then here's our fully built out rig. And here is the third keg line hooked up to this. How this works is I will put a sight glass right here so I can see whether I'm pulling a ton of sediment or not with the beer. And then it's gonna come out and feed all three of these keg lines. The idea here is that I'm gonna be coupling this to a keg, opening this valve, which will then take beer down and down. It'll actually, kegs actually fill from the bottom up. There's a spear that goes all the way to the bottom. And so it fills from the bottom up. Typically what happens is the beer comes out here and we put gas in here, CO2 gas in here to push the beer out. We're doing the reverse process here where we're putting beer in here and then I use this little valve right here to monitor the speed with which that fill happens. I don't want that fill happening really fast because it'll kick a ton of foam and I'll end up losing beer in the process. I do have, for me, I'll run anywhere between, right now there's uh, about 10 PSI on the tank. That's gonna give us uh, a carb right around 2.7 volumes. I'm gonna need to run gas on the tank at about 15 to 16 PSI to keep up with this filling process. You wanna be able to maintain a steady head pressure on the tank um, so you make sure packaging goes smoothly. If you go really slow, you can have foam breaking out of solution get less volume, and not get the appropriate carbonation level that you want in your beer in the keg. Let's get ready to fill some kegs. You'll notice that I leave, maybe you can't see, but I do leave my keg rigs uh, in Sani the entire time that I'm getting ready to go. I have my, my three kegs here and we're gonna start filling those shortly. But I am going to purge this entire rig out, this entire kegging rig and blow beer through it until it's running as clear as the beer runs. I'll be blowing that off into a bucket so it doesn't spray everywhere. Then I'm gonna be taking the caps off of my kegs, clean, sanitized, and purged kegs, giving them a little spray of ISO uh, on the valve face. And then we're gonna be ready to run some beer into these things in just a second. All right, so I'm about to blow some beer through here. That means that I'm going to crack each one of these little valves here on the keg rig. So they're not wide open, but they're partially open and will allow beer to come through them. What you can't see on the ground right now is I'm just blasting them right into a bucket so I don't get stuff all over the place, and then I'll seal them one by one. All right, awesome. These are all the way bled through now with beer. You'll notice this beer is a little bit purple. This is 
our rotating fruit beer called Fuse. Misting those with a little ISO before we get started. Now these kegs are pressurized and sanitized. So I will uh, connect these kegs and engage them. Let me see a, let me see if you can see this here. I'll connect them and engage them. There's nothing coming out of this keg or going into it right now because this valve is closed. This valve will be my off gas and this valve will allow beer to go down into the keg. On each one of these kegs, I'll put a small length of tubing that will just prevent the beer from shooting all over the place. This too comes out of Sani. And then now since these kegs are engaged, the handles push down, it's ready to start receiving beer. So I'm gonna make sure that I get my gas on my bright tank, which I have hooked up right over there at a rate of 15 PSI. I'm gonna open up these valves. Beer is gonna start flowing into these kegs. There's a little bit more pressure in the tank than there is in the keg. That's why I have flow going into it right now. If I don't open this small off gas, it'll basically stop filling once it hit, hits equilibrium. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna start bleeding these off. Just a nice slow fill. A little bit of this is trial and error. Again, you don't wanna be ripping beer through here because you're gonna get tons of foam. So anyways, we're gonna let this roll until they fill. All right, so this middle keg right here is now kicking out a little bit of foam. I'll speed this up and then I can see through this red line that I'm kicking beer through there, which is awesome. There's no more beer coming through because this valve is closed, the off gas. And then I can close this valve here, detach the coupler. And then I'm gonna take this keg over here. We're gonna rinse it, dump that, rinse water out of it, sani it, cap it up. That'll work. I like to give this whole keg, we do keg exteriors every time we wash kegs as well, but I do like to give these stems a really thorough rinse. I like to tip the water out of them. Bottle of ISO, spray of ISO in the stem inside the cap. Have it on there just like that. And that's how we keg here at Cartridge. If you have any questions about what you saw, why it works that way, I'm, why I'm not doing it a different way, anything like that, please leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, got value out of it, actually like it, subscribe. Tell your other beer loving nerd friends about this nerdy guy on Adam Makes Beer. I'd appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.